Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So this opening almost didn't happen. As you can see, I have an hour and 30, uh, hour and uh, 29 minutes left uh, on the Mutant Skill Dual Crystals. And I wasn't going to open these up at first. I was saving my shards for when the feature pool changed. Well, it has and I have all the champions in there uh, that I would have wanted. So that left me with all these shards. And then take a look here. We've got a mutant advancement and I've been saving up signature stones for when I get a Namor, because of course I wanna put as many signature stones into him as possible. And I have a mutant five-star awakening gem. All right, so that is why we are gonna open these guys up. All right, let's go ahead and first get his big face up there. There we go. That is the man. And we will open these up one at a time. All right, uh, I was actually sitting here. I had a pretty busy morning, had some things that I needed to do. And I was saying, man, mutant advancement. If only I had done my opening when the mutant skill uh, dual class crystals were available, I thought they had already expired. And then I looked and saw we still had an hour and a half left. So I said, all right, let's do it. All right, first one, what do we got? Come on, come on, come on. No, that ain't him. I didn't even see him. So uh, I took this guy up actually uh, to rank four but I used a, a rank up gem and uh, didn't really have anybody else that I wanted to use it on. And so I did that and uh, I know Big Blue was like, wow, really? You you ranked him up? I was like, yeah, I ran out of people to uh, take it up, uh, to take up. Uh, but yeah, so the only one out of this crystal is Namor. And I think I did see Namor uh, in the reel here uh, anyone else, uh, I can't even remember first time awakenings or who I might want more sig stones, uh, sig levels on. Um, but really, yeah, I see him. Uh, Namor is, is really the only one that I, I want out of this. Uh, if I can get a first time awakening, that's fine too. But right now, Namor is my most wanted. Uh, I'm looking, and even out of the other crystals, I don't really want anyone out of those crystals. They skipped over Professor X. Professor X would have been cool. Elsa I have as a six-star. Um, okay, that is a first-time awakening of my five-star Elsa. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, I don't think the six-star is awakened. I can't remember. Um, but not bad. First-time awakening is good. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and grab another one. If you guys saw the last time uh, I was uh, hunting for Apocalypse uh, in these crystals and uh, we we got an Apocalypse. So yeah, after that, there's really not that many champions uh, that are five stars that I want. Now, of course, I would love to get a five, uh, six star Namor if I could, but you know, it is what it is. These even if they're all dupes, are giving me six-star shards. So I'll be able to open up my next six-star pretty quickly. All right? So let's hope. Let's hope uh, uh, we can get this Namor. All right. All right, there you go. We're slowing it down. Actually, Mole Man, I don't think I have him awakened. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't mind Iceman, but I've had Iceman for a while. Okay, and as you can see, he's now Sig 80. It's not really uh, useful to me uh, at all. He's still rank four right now. Uh, I thought about taking him to rank five, you know, some time ago, but now, yeah, I just don't use him. Uh, I actually used Iceman in Labyrinth of Legends, and I was so sorry. I brought him. Uh, as you saw, he was rank four, 
and I took him in there and I forget which fight it was, but it was one that I needed a bleed immune. And at the time I didn't have any bleed immune champions, uh, that were ranked up and I really wanted to get Labyrinth of Legends done. And so I brought him in there and that fight was so long and boring. Oh my goodness. I, I really hated that, uh, that fight. And it's probably why I blocked it out of my memory. Um, that was horrible. His damage was horrible. All right, next one up. What do we got? Okay, I will take that. I will definitely take that. Um, I believe that's a first time awakening. Let's see. Nope, not a first time. Wow. Okay. So he's got a couple. Uh, I don't even know if his signature ability helps him all that much. I know he's a good champion now. I don't have him as a six star. Uh, so... Uh, that's not a bad pull, but we'll see what I do with him. I may end up ranking him up as a five star, uh, especially if I can't get him as a six star. All right. We got a few more tries, uh, to go. Uh, uh, as far as Iceman goes, I would love to see him get a slight buff, not a rework, leave his abilities alone. Just give him more damage. That I would like, you know, whether they make his, you know, we have enough counters for uh, his uh, frost bites and, uh, and cold snap and all of that. Give him more damage. And uh, he would suddenly be a pretty good champion. You know, he's got the immunities. You see what they did for uh, Colossus. You know, he has those immunities and he has the damage. All right. What do we got? Ah, that is funny. Y'all are funny. Do you know how long I was hunting for Aegon in these crystals? You see he's a SIG 200, right? I hunted for that Aegon. I was hunting for him so hard. And I ended up getting him in a Nexus crystal. Not even in these. And so now, yeah. They show he shows up now. OK, all right. Um, we'll, we'll if I remember, we'll open up that max signature uh, ability crystal. Sometimes I forget because, you know, it's not something that's all that interesting to me. You can get a six star out of it, but I haven't yet. Um, I think it's a six star. Maybe it's a five star, um, but all I've gotten from those are. I think I have gotten an awakening gem from those crystals, but mostly it's six star shards, um, which I like, uh, and, and will be happy if I pull a good six star Those That's what I'm focused on these days. All right. What do we got? Okay. Um, he's also SIG 200. So that's another max signature ability crystal. I'll take it. All right. Let's keep going here. I think we have, yeah. We have um, two more. Let's see. Go ahead. And maybe I'll, I'll open up something, uh, some four stars, and get uh, enough for one extra one. And uh, we'll see what happens there. Of course, if I get a Namor, then I won't. But uh, yeah, so the hunt for Namor has begun and is continuing. <clears throat> All right. I'm trying to see who else would I even want? <clears throat> I don't need Emma to be awakened. Uh, and I don't even remember if she is awakened or not. Uh, Archangel, I can't remember. He doesn't need to be SIG 200. <clears throat> All right, slowing down. What do we got? Yeah, I was going to say, just keep on. Ooh, y'all wrong for that. Uh, I have Winter Soldier as a six star. Um, so, and he's awakened um, as a six star. Uh, but you saw that Namor right next to Winter Soldier. That ain't right. That ain't right. All right. Yeah, we're just going to keep opening. We're just going to keep opening uh, <clears throat> and see what we can get. Who knows? Uh, even if I got like a... Um, uh, Nick Fury. Oh, 
I know who I would like to dupe. Apocalypse. Even though Apocalypse uh, signature ability is fairly useless, uh, if you bring him into incursions, his signature ability can be actually useful. So it'd be nice to awaken him. I'm not going to use a gem on him or anything like that. So it would be nice to awaken him um, with, with a dupe here. Uh, then uh, his signature ability allows him to heal up between fights, save you some potions. Oh, y'all are wrong for that. They are so wrong for that. But this is another max signature ability crystal. All right. They, they really want us to get them six-star shards. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at getting them six-star shards, let me tell you. All right. Let's grab this here. I think I did my math wrong. Um, we have this one. We have one more, or two more, rather. And um, then I might open up some four-stars, and, and we can grab another one. So we'll see what happens. Uh, otherwise, I'll go back to saving, and then we'll open up another batch. Um, but, oh, it would have been nice to get uh, a new Namor. Because if I could do that, uh, I can awaken him, I can dump all those six stones into him, and we've got that mutant advancement. If not, then that mutant advancement is probably going to just uh, go bye-bye. All right? Why are they doing that to me? Why are they doing that to me? They, they letting me see that Namor. They letting Namor come by and wave at me. That ain't right. That ain't right. Um, I also have, uh, I think I have Mr. Sinister as a six star. All right. More SIG levels. Uh, I don't remember if his signature level does anything. Um, hold on. Be right back. Sorry about that. I've been waiting for a call, so I, I wanted to make sure I didn't miss that call. All right. Let's open up another and see what we can get. And uh, I'm going to try to remember to open up. I have a lot on my mind right now, um, but I'm going to try to remember to open up those uh, max signature ability crystals. Uh, and then, who knows, we might be able to a little bit later, uh, maybe tomorrow, um, get a, a nice uh, six star opening going. All right, but yeah, so I guess Apocalypse would be the champ I want to awaken the most. Um, they need to stop having Namor wave at me like they have been doing. That ain't right. That ain't right at all. All right, come on. Slowing down on its own. What do we got? What do we got, guys? Okay, come on, come on, come on. They are really, really on that. They're like, you know all those Aegons that we didn't give you when you were looking for them? Well, have them. Have them all. We're going to keep on giving them to you. Um, reminds me of a cartoon back in the day. Uh, you guys might remember it. This time, I didn't forget the gravy. See if you can remember what cartoon that's from. All right. Uh, so we need just a, a one. So we've got four star crystal here and of course it's going to be a dupe i have all the four stars so that gives us those nice five star shards and i could open up a bunch and see if we could get even another uh crystal to open up um in fact we we might do that uh because the more we open up we actually are getting points for that advancement as well. So I might do that. I might uh, open up uh, the four stars as well as opening up whatever max signatures I've gotten for opening those four stars, duping them at max sig, and uh, see if we can open up another uh, crystal uh, after this one. Provided this one is not Namor, uh, which is not looking like it's gonna be, but we're going to give it the old try, you know, the old good college try. All right. And then it'll be a while before we open these up again. All right. What do we got? Another max signature. So Aegon 
and Omega Reds are are the thing uh, for this opening. All right, let's before I do anything else, uh, let's go ahead and I guess it really doesn't matter. It's gonna end up having a lot in my um, overflow. Uh, so I'm going to try to open them up like this. Just open up the uh, regular ones. Just pop them. And um, that way I don't have just one or two ISOs. Hey, you got a four-star uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. All right. Yeah. Don't know if that's going to be enough. But we'll, we'll open them up. We'll open them up. And uh, if we don't have enough, then uh, we'll just do it another time. Okay, let's open these up. And I don't know how many of the uh, Max Sig I have. I haven't really paid attention to them. And I could open up a ton of uh, P PHCs and uh, try to get it that way, but honestly, I don't think I want to do that but it would get me points that's for sure yeah I'm getting some lag which is why uh it's uh clicking on that like that you can see how long it was taking for it to uh update there all right let's see yeah let's open up uh these nexus crystals doesn't matter see yep 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 all max sig uh and i think all of my four no no one of my four stars isn't max sig uh and will be after today hmm well let's do old luke cage Ooh, four star doom everybody's max sig let's do doom all right And these are also giving me more max sig ability uh, crystals, more five star shards for me. Uh, hopefully, because it can come out with uh, some awakening gems and stuff like that, which I really don't want from that. Uh, those crystals. All right, let's see. Uh, let's open up these ultimate. All right, got a four star though, and another max. Uh, signature ability crystal and let's see what else we got here mm, these don't give five star shards do they no it gives four star shards hmm might open those up later we'll see um yep we got 19 of these and we've got the six max signature ability crystals right there all right Let's go ahead and just pop these. All right, shards, good, good. Yeah, and we got an awakening gem and a signature stone, which means uh, those could have been five star shards. I would actually rather have those, but we might get a, a mystic that we want to awaken as a four star during a mystic advancement uh, in the future. So not a waste. All right, let's see what else we got here. These are the things that I, I usually will do uh, off stream that you guys don't see uh, in preparation uh, for for this. All right, let's uh, spin the first one. There's no reel, and then we'll pop the last five. But there is a chance uh, to get a, a, a champion out of this. All right, but that's what we want is the uh, six-star shards. All right, popping them. All right. 1,650. That is what I expected. All right. Let me see. What do we got here? So we still, we're what? Um, 2,500 uh, short. Okay. What else can we do? Um, there's some five-star shards in here. It's not that many, if at all. Yeah. Yeah. May not be that many. Okay, 25. 
Yeah, I don't usually get a lot of uh, five star shards. Oh, 75 uh, from these. 125. That's not bad uh, from those crystals. But yeah, they, they usually don't give me a lot of five star shards, if any at all. All right. Let's see. What else can we do? Now, there is something else I can do, guys. Let's see. Signature stones. Um, this also can give five star shards. So let's open those up. Hey, T1 Alpha. Take that. I like T1 Alphas. Still need them. And I will take those six star shards too. Let's see what else we got. A catalyst formed. Ooh, T4 Basic. Take it. Uh, and three T1 Alphas, 200 six-star shards. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Whoa, six T1 Alphas? Okay. This will help during the next level up. That's going to save me glory. Ooh, got another one of those T1 Alphas, I see. Okay, and we got some uh, five-star shards. Keep going. Yeah, these are doing pretty well here. Whoa, 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 whoa. 10 T1 Alphas, 300 six star shards, 400 five star shards, another T4 basic formed. Last eight. These actually were better than I thought they were going to be. Come on. Okay. Wow. More T1 Alpha. There's the two T4 basics. Okay. That was actually a good batch right there. Uh, that turned out way better than I thought it was going to. All right, where we're at. All right, so we need about 2,000, right? Uh, so what we can do... Also, let's see. I uh, don't want to open those up. Those won't give me anything there. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, class catalyst. We're not opening these yet because we have a good uh, six star that we want to open, uh, rank up rather. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, we need to uh, get more four star shards. So I have a bunch of Max Sig for um, the three stars. So let's pop these open. These will give us some four star shards. And um, yeah, I got plenty of three star awakening gems, let me tell you. But yeah, so this will allow us to open up more four stars which in turn will give us five star shards because I have all of the four stars. Uh, this is what you want to do and why you want to keep investing in your uh, lower level champs. You know, if you want more five stars, one of the best ways is to duplicate your four stars. And I've been working on my four stars so that I now have all of the four stars that I can get in these crystals. So four star crystals to me, is basically five star shards. Uh, even though these are giving me a nice spread, as you can see here. Um, didn't really want all of those, but it's all good. All right, so we can now open up some more four star shards, uh, four star crystals, which in turn will give us some more max signature ability crystals because I've maxed out like all of my uh, four stars. Uh, all but one. I think Strife is is the only one who's not. And I'll put some six stones into him during this uh, mutant advancement. All right. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. And then we go to our max signature ability crystals. Pop those open and hope we get just shards. And, and all of these are giving us points in that advancement. 
Let's see, those are the ones we want. Pop them. And there we go. We got it. All right. Let's uh, open up the last crystal. And uh, if we don't get them here, it's all good. We've gotten a lot of points. We'll look at that afterwards. Um, we've gotten six star shards. Uh, and we've gotten uh, a good number of points in the advancement. And so I'm not going to use the five star six stones on anybody else but Namor. Um, he's the one that really needs them. So I'm saving those for him. And uh, we'll just keep on going, keep on looking for him. And uh, let's hope we got him. Last one, guys. We're going to let it spin out, let it ride out. Can't say I wasn't working to get that last uh, crystal. All right. Last one. Namor. Come on, Namor. Out of there. No Namor. All that work, and we got a Moon Knight. All right, guys. That is going to do it for this crystal opening. Uh, one of the longer ones uh, that I've done. Uh, but take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.